Hi everyone! Today we're going to dye fiber, silk fiber. What we're going to do, I'll show you how to dye margulan silk very quickly. I will show you how to dye hunkies or cups as well as they call. There are two types, some cups and some hunkies. And I will show you how to dye silk laps. They look like blankets. All these products are very expensive to buy dyed, so why don't you dye yourself? And I'll, I'll teach you how. What I do with these products, I like to use this especially to add texture to felt and one of the examples where I use this all this can you see all this vibrant colors uh, hunkies silk uh, laps and cups I create pre-felt for scarves shawls and waistcoats just like this when we're talking about pre-felt, I add to my pre-felt to add texture, okay? Not just texture, it's... Um, I create very thin pre-felt and um, all these products, it's um, purpose of laminating. So no holes, everything holds together. It's one of the reasons too. So what do we need to do to dye? First of all, can you see I prepared my space and this towel a little bit damp uh, because when I uh, prepare dyes, which dyes come in powder some dyes come in liquid, but they're more expensive. So when I dilute uh, my dyes with water, I put damp towel. So if anything uh, spill, any uh, dye spill, it hopefully it will be trapped in to by to wet towel. Uh, so what else we need? Gloves. It was somewhere, yes, somewhere here, mask. So many different types of masks and this is the most primitive mask, okay? Simple, which you can buy from DIY shop. Microwave, microwave specifically for dye process. Lots of different spoons, lots of different measuring uh, jugs, containers, cling film. Unfortunately, I do use cling film for this and obviously fiber, okay? I did prepare fiber, everything in the bucket of cold water and add either vinegar or lemon juice. How much vinegar or lemon juice? Depends on water, but I usually do this. <laughs> I don't measure. So first what we're going to do, we are going to dye our silk. And if you notice, my silk is dry. So, because it's very thin, fine silk, so I'm going to add cold water, okay? I have already diluted dye in my gin and tonic bottle. They're perfect to store any, you know, dyes and so colorful. I'm going to add dye, okay? And I'll add a little bit of vinegar. I think I did add vinegar. <laughs> Sorry, this is lemon juice. Vinegar here. But I just to be sure. Then I'm going to put my gloves. And all I'm doing, I'm putting silk. always have spare towel which is on the other table and i'm just going to steer silk 
just using spoon. So basically, I can see, can you see the consistency of color? Okay, it's still dark purple. And I'm just stirring. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to put silk in microwave. Okay, but if you do, yes, you can. If you don't have time to do what I'm doing at the moment, but it does not take long time, you can put this silk into microwave. If you put it on full blast, no more than four minutes. So what are you doing? Two minutes, stop microwave, uh, stir your silk and another two minutes okay and when it's done please do not remove silk from hot water because silk does not like contrast temperatures so leave silk wool silk whatever you dye in with acid dyes I'll talk a little bit more about acid dyes this uh, material do not like a rapid contrast temperature so just leave leave to uh, your product sorry silk or wool to cool down naturally so what we're we going to do i'm going so if you look water becoming lighter and that's color of the silk i have so what i'm going to do i'm going to leave silk and water just leave it and we're going to dye um, either silk hunkies or uh, silk clubs okay so we're going to leave this here and we're going to do other dyes so what we're going to need to do i'm going to do multicolored dye so i'm putting um, cling film i'm getting my oops i'm stuck not enough space in this studio i'm getting uh, silk cups okay so i'm putting this quite flat oops And I start to add dye. So for my project, I need red, purple, orange, yellow. That's what I'm going to do. You can dye either just in one color, monocolor. In this case, you just dip your hunkies in a solution with dye, just like we were doing with margulan silk and put in microwave again up to five minutes okay but uh, with a break in between two minutes break two three minutes so what we're going to do make sure dye comes through all hunkies if it does not you will have patches white patches can you see it's all through then we're going to add oops, yellow i had red and orange here so we'll add orange You can dye monocolor, but I think it's more fun if you know colors you're using. Just do this mono uh, multicolor, but sometimes depends on your project. You need monocolor, and I will do that as well. Then I'll add red.
Okay. And when few colors meet together, what they do? They create another color. So yellow and uh, red will make another color. Which is orange. So, can you see why I have old towel as well? What I did not do, I did not put apron. <laughs> so, so it's all done. Can you see? It's all, I'm just make sure no white bits. Okay. Then I pack in clink film okay so and it will be going into microwave i have another here can you see green and blue when you put these bundles in microwave never just put like this put in some either put together with little glass of water okay or put in the dish where you can put this into dish and glass of lit of water if you put like this in microwave not in the dish make sure you then have time to clean your microwave because dye starts to run out okay so that that will go into microwave now we're going to create a dye silk clubs i should admit i love to work with silk clubs more than with hunkies both has the use it just preference What I should do before, I should cut in small pieces. Don't try to dye massive pieces. You would cut anyway. It's so difficult to separate massive blanket or laps. So I'm going to cut now. Okay, so that's what we have. I'm going again. If you do monocolor, just add water in the dish, and then you get beautiful color, very rich. But we're going to do uh, multicolor. You still get rich color. However, it might you might need to use stronger consistency of color because it's always easy to dye in the dye bar um, dye bars. Okay, again, I want to do purple. Then I add all this red. Okay. 
I'll add orange. You can use sponges, okay? Sponges to make sure to basically distribute uh, dye. Only make sure sponges would not uh, don't stick to fiber. Okay. Now add yellow. It's all yellow we have. So we make sh we need to check, make sure it's all dyed through. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create a puzzle just like that. And this is ready to go to microwave too. I'm just checking, put it on another side, looking through another side, no white stains. So this is going to, the, to microwave too. Let's check our silk. Okay, ideally, we need our bath exhausted completely. What does it tell me? That I put too much dye, it's still blue. It's went from purple to blue. So what happened here? I had to I mixed to get a purple color. I didn't have this purple color. I, I add blue, red and yellow. There is a fantastic book and I shared with my students already. It's in German. However, you don't need to know German to understand all these colors okay and how much can you see all colors what colors you want to which can achieve and here colors you need to use dyes and quantities to achieve particular color and that's what i did with purple i did put too much blue so we have blue left we're going to use this okay so this silk is ready what i'm going to do i'm going to rinse this silk adding either vinegar or, or a lemon juice. But I'm going to dye, add in more dye, laps. I can put laps and I can put hankies and put in microwave. Okay. So, and I add hankies as well. This is was a lazy dye. I put too many hunkies in a bundle and what happened? Basically, what well, bottom did not but the bottom of the bundle did not dye well. So let's let's over dye. So we just make sure what i'm doing i'm squeezing and i'm moving silk in the bath dye so make sure dye goes through every bit of silk silk needs to float freely in the dust da sorry in the dye bath Okay, so I'm not going to add anything else. So this going into microwave and when it's all done, 
I'll show you the results. No. See you later. As you can see, I finished dyeing all the fiber. So what we have here, I'm really happy, especially with silk laps. I have very bright colors, okay, and multicolors. And hunkies or cups, multicolored, no white, but we can check inside. I'm not looking inside, no white either. Let's recap what we've done here. First of all, we use acid dyes for silk and wool. Acid dyes need acid, either lemon juice or vinegar to fix color to silk in our case. I diluted five ml of acid dye on one liter of water. Water can be any, however, before you dilute with one liter of water, dilute um, five ml of acid dye with boiling water, just a little bit, put in the cup, stir really well, and then dilute with warm water, one liter. It all depends how intensive color you want. It could be more than five ml, it could be less. Sometimes I just don't measure even. <laughs> Um, when you dilute it, your dye, add a little bit of lemon juice or vinegar. After that, your uh, silk and your old hunk is prepared. When I was uh, talking about prepared, I left especially silk hunkies and silk laps in water, of cold water, adding a little bit of lemon juice or vinegar. Okay. I dyed uh, um, margolin silk, just dry, because it's very fine fabric. So we apply dye, when our, sorry, when our fabric and all silk ready, then we apply dye, either we create, we still have some fiber here, either uh, creating dye bus and putting in microwave. Why microwave? Because we need heat to secure dye, okay? Or, like in our case, uh, with margolin silk, I was stirring carefully and then just left in hot dye till it's cooled down. If you're using microwave on full power, up to five minutes, um, stopping in between and stirring a little bit, okay? to get even dye if you're doing dye bars. If you're doing just in cling film like we did all this beautiful fiber, we put in cling film, we add uh, dye, rub and put in microwave just for four minutes without stopping. If sometimes to make sure what happens when you create a, a puzzle and sometimes dye on bottom more than on top. So if you really need to have an even dye, then turn over in the middle of the dye process, okay? When everything uh, dyed and cooled down, then you need to rinse all this fiber with cold water, adding vinegar, okay? That's uh, some been rinse. I rinse only red and orange. I still need to rinse green and blue, okay? And leave to dry and your fiber is ready for your project. If you have any questions, just email me, lina at linaarchbal.co.uk or just give me a call. You can find my phone number via my website. Thank you so much for your attention and I'm looking forward to see what you're going to create. Take care. Goodbye.